Hi. Again, I'm going to teach you one very fast method for another way that we separate the horoscope. You know, another way that you can judge a horoscope. There are many different ways I've been teaching you throughout uh, the months. And uh, this one is also very simple. It's based on the elements. And again, you need to go to my website, to my birth chart calculator. Uh, go to astrolada.com, to the birth chart calculator. Enter your details. You don't also need to have the exact time of your birth. Uh, we're going to be looking at planets only, and again, I'm saying only the seven visible planets. Don't include Uranus, Pluto, Neptune. Include only the planets from the Sun, the Moon, Venus, <coughs> Mercury, uh, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Only those seven planets. Don't also look at the positions of Rahu and Ketu, which are the North Nodes. Those are not visible planets either. And uh, I want you to check in which, which uh, of those categories that I'm going to mention you have most planets in. And there are uh, four types, basically. Uh, first one is the fire planet, is the fire signs. Planets in Aries, in Leo, or Sagittarius. If you see that you have three or more planets uh, in one of those fire signs, you'll be much more fiery person. The fiery energy is called in Vedic astrology Pitta. Pitta, it means it's, uh, it's the temperament, is full of action, it needs to take action, it needs to be proactive, it's masculine. It's, Pitta means activity. When you're active, when you're uh, showing your uh, busy side, when you're actually showing your creative side, uh, when you are using your, um, when you're creating something, you know, these are masculine qualities of pitta, of movement, of creation, of, of, of uh, uh, you know, being involved and busy. And uh, uh, also people who have many planets in fire, they would often be very inspired people. They would often, the fire is the inspirational element, uh, is the element of light. So these people need lots of sun, they might be quite active physically, they might be out and about, and uh, they're kind of more of a light beings and a bit more fiery as well. If it's kind of damaged these signs, they'll be more reactive emotionally, uh, you know, more temperamental, so to speak. And these people are often leaders. They're often quite magnetic, quite noticeable from far. Because imagine, you know, Peter character is character of movement, of activity. So people notice them. They leave an impression on others, you know. And uh, I have five planets in fire signs that's a lot you know so i always need to move i always need to create something i don't uh, uh, the masculine element is always to be on the move always to be doing something and sometimes it's not so good to have so many because you need also to have the feminine element the feminine element of being able to relax and to be receptive and this comes if you have more planets in water signs the water signs are cancer Scorpio and Pisces. If you have three or more planets in these water signs, then you will be more receptive. Uh, these are the feminine qualities. In Vedic astrology, it, the temperament is called uh, Kapha. And it means when you need, when you rest. So the masculine signs, the, 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 the fiery energetic signs are Pitta, the fire ones, and the feminine signs are the water ones. These people will be more emotion centered, more feeling centered. They will be more uh, receptive to the environment. You know, they'll, they'll be, they, they would like to rest more, so to speak. Uh, and uh, there, there is a bit more of a feminine quality about them. Uh, and uh, then there is a third one, uh, people who have many planets in the air signs. The air signs are Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. This is the so-called windy, windy signs, air signs. And they are, in Vedic astrology, they are known as Vata. Uh, and uh, Vata is the quality of change. So these will be people who have three, four, or five planets in air signs. Uh, uh, they will be it's, it's the quality of changing because uh, the fire signs are basically activity. The water signs are resting and being receptive. And the air signs are, is the movement between these two. Sometimes knowing when to switch to activity, knowing when to switch back to rest.
and uh, but uh, it can be a bit hard to have too many planets in there because uh, these people will be quite changeable you know because of, of this is the wind you know the winds are changing there isn't much stability there and because the air signs are also the signs of our desires these people are full of desires and desires are usually the ones that change mostly they change the fastest if you're going through relationships because of desire and not because of love you find yourself your five months later down the uh, line you find yourself being um, you know more uh, unhappy with the relationship looking into uh, the next relationship or uh, wanting some a change again you know so having too much air sometimes can be a bit difficult but um, it also makes people quite intelligent quite curious quite full of uh, they, they, they're very easy to stimulate because of this changeability something can take if you see someone with many planets in air something can really easily take their attention away from you and uh, they, they're great when it comes to profession where change is needed like journalism like uh, <clears throat> Uh, trade even uh, changeability you now uh, but sometimes you know because they're just like the wind blows them they change their desires as well quickly as well uh, <clears throat> just as quickly uh, and they need to find some grounding they need to find who they are themselves as personality so when their desires change which will be quite often within themselves they can they can stick to what is more important to them if they know who they are in real life who they are as personalities that their desires will not sway them so much and the third type of people the third type of signs is the earth signs which is taurus capricorn uh, taurus virgo and capricorn actually these are the most balanced signs of, of the three because they're a combination of the the three types kappa vita and vata so of masculine feminine uh and uh, changeable energy you know the the air signs these three t temperaments you know and they have a little bit of all so it's quite good when you have earth signs because we live also on the planet earth and these people who have more earth signs they they tend to be more balanced than others because they have a little bit of everything so it's good when you have a bit of earth in your chart at least a one or two or three planets i have none so it's a bit hard to stay grounded it's uh, when you don't have any earth in you any planets in earth it's a bit hard to be uh uh to enjoy the simple pleasures of life the earthiness around you to stay grounded to also to uh, have a good awareness of your body and take care properly of the physical uh, and to be practical these people are very practical and balanced uh, and and they know how to take care of material things and how to take care uh, uh, of uh, the, how to enjoy material life as well how to enjoy the the earthly uh, uh, life and because i have a lot of planets in fire for instance uh, fire is a very spiritual energy so these people will be always quite often into high ideals you know if you have too much fire planets in fires you'll be very much into idealistic pursuits or living in your own dreams and uh or kind of uh, a bit not so practical so to speak or striving to spirituality or higher dimensions as well so it's but most of you will have an equal amount of everything um, uh, most of you have a bit of air science a bit of water science a bit of earth science you know and that's good actually that's good and balanced some of you who are extreme you will see it like people like with me with so much fire and actually no feminine water signs and no uh, grounding earth signs these people look hectic and all over the place you know it's like a bit a bit ungrounded in the earthly life or people who have too much water for instance they'll be too receptive they'll be too sensitive they'll be too emotional you know so or people who have uh, too much air too much changeable you know and uh, you know you, you can write to me and tell me how you feel how do you uh, identify with what i told you do you know people with more extreme charts and how you find how you find this lesson thank you very much and i will see you soon again